Avalanche, AVAX, is a blockchain platform with smart contracts that focuses on transaction speed, cheap prices, and environmental friendliness. Avalanche's ultimate goal is to create a highly scalable blockchain that doesn't compromise decentralization or security. Avalanche was launched by the Avalabs team in 2020 and has quickly risen in the cryptocurrency rankings to sit just outside the top 10. Avalanche total value locked in the protocol, or TVL, is also soaring, with a market cap of $3 billion across all Avalanche apps. Avalanche is a genuine contender in a hot arms race to develop the world's fastest blockchain, with a superb team, enthusiastic community, and committed backers. Do you want to learn more about Avalanche, such as how it operates and what the AVAX token is used for? If that's the case, please keep watching. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. This is Financial and Investment Wisdom, and it's your ticket to financial independence. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and enable alerts to be notified of new uploads. So, thanks to Bitcoin, blockchains have evolved unusually. Because Bitcoin was the original blockchain, it inspired the design of all future networks, including Ethereum. This is currently problematic for several reasons. Bitcoin's proof-of-work consensus causes transactions to be delayed and expensive. Decentralization is hampered by the time and resources required to validate POW chains. The usage of blockchain is accelerating, necessitating scalable solutions. Because there were so few people using Bitcoin when it first began in 2009, the technical restrictions were less of a concern. However, decentralized finance and the adoption of NFTs have drastically altered the blockchain scene today. Around 100 million people were utilizing cryptocurrencies at the start of 2021, according to some estimates. Similarly, the value of DeFi apps has risen to well over $100 billion. Smart contract-enabled blockchains like Ethereum and Solana are experiencing network congestion and outages as a result of their exponential growth. To address the issue, Ethereum apps that host the majority of today's DeFi value are developing Layer 2 scaling solutions. Layer 2 separates transactions from the main Ethereum chain, bundles them, and returns the bundles to Ethereum. This relieves demand on Ethereum while also adding levels of complexity that may jeopardize security. The most elegant option is to maintain everything on a scalable, secure, and decentralized Layer 1 protocol. So what does all of this have to do with Avalanche? The founders and developers of Avalanche, Avalabs, think they've created the world's quickest smart contract blockchain platform. Avalanche performs at internet scale for a future where crypto is a global backbone technology, thanks to the use of three separate blockchains beneath the hood. A few years ago, such a goal seemed, at best, audacious, and at most, a decade away. The Avalanche mainnet, however, is now operational and home to a thriving, growing community funded by a $230 million ecological fund. Avalanche was founded in 2019 by Dr. Emin Gun Sir to achieve the fastest time to finality for blockchain transactions from the start. The time it takes for a crypto transaction to process and be regarded as permanent and irreversible is known as the time to finality. Once a transaction has reached finality, it cannot be reversed or changed. Finality is an important blockchain characteristic, particularly for financial applications. But the time it takes to reach finality differs amongst blockchains. Ethereum, for example, reaches finality in under a minute. Avalanche reaches finality in a fraction of a second, which is near instantaneous in real-world applications. Is Avalanche the world's fastest blockchain because of its near-instant finality? We'll need to take a closer look at how Avalanche works and explain AVAX token staking to figure this out. So, how does an Avalanche work? The main novelty of Avalanche is that it is made up of three blockchains, rather than the traditional one. The reasoning behind this architectural decision is brilliant. 
Rather than having one chain handle everything, each blockchain focuses on a certain purpose inside the Avalanche ecosystem. The Avalanche platform can fulfill the golden trinity of blockchain qualities, decentralization, security, and scalability by distributing jobs across multiple chains. The exchange chain, Xchain, is the blockchain that allows Avalanche assets to be created and traded. AVAX, Avalanche's native token, is the most popular cryptocurrency on the network right now, although JOE and PNG, decentralized exchange tokens, aren't far behind. Fees are paid in AVAX for transactions on the X chain. This is comparable to how Ethereum gas fees are paid in ETH. Fees are always settled in AVAX, even if you're dealing in JOE tokens. Then there's the contract chain. C chain. Avalanche's main feature is smart contracts. Developers can use this capability to create decentralized applications on Avalanche while taking advantage of the platform's security and scalability. The C chain is an Ethereum virtual machine (EVM). The C chain is an Ethereum virtual machine (EVM) compliant smart contract platform for the Avalanche platform. Because Avalanche is EVM compatible, anyone can use it to deploy Ethereum smart contracts. What's the big deal about that? Existing Ethereum programs, such as DeFi giants AAVE, may quickly release an Avalanche version of their product. When developers deploy Ethereum smart contracts atop Avalanche, they can use the same Ethereum developer tools as before to access the latter's functionalities. Finally, there's the platform chain, P-Chain. Anyone can establish an L1 or L2 blockchain with Avalanche's P-Chain. You could even put together a group of them. These blockchains are known as subnets in Avalanche, with the P-Chain serving as the default subnet for everybody. The P-Chain keeps track of validators to manage the landscape of Avalanche subnets, but subnets are also responsible for validating the P-Chain before we go into the details of the AVAX token, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to express your ideas in the comments section below. So the Avalanche token, or AVAX, is a utility token that acts as the ecosystem's primary medium of exchange. AVAX staking secures the network and pays stakes with more AVAX, in addition to its use as currency in the Avalanche realm. The AVAX deflationary token method adds to the value gained by staking. AVAX tokens used to pay transaction fees are destroyed, reducing the amount of AVAX in circulation forever. Let's take a look at the AVAX staking rewards. Validators must possess and stake AVAX tokens as collateral in all subnets, including the primary network. That isn't to mean that staking AVAX will earn you money if you aren't a validator. If you want to earn a percentage of the AVAX staking benefits, you can delegate your stake to a validator. Approximately 64% of AVAX tokens are currently staked. Validators receive little under 11% APY, while delegators earn 9.53% staking incentives. How to pay AVAX transaction fees? The avalanche is referred to as the ecosystem's common unit of account. In layman's terms, this means AVAX is the default money on the network. AVAX is the common currency between subnets and is used to pay all transaction costs. It's crucial to use AVAX between subnets because it aids interoperability between subnets that would otherwise use their internal coins. Using AVAX, you can create tokens and subnets. The two main use cases for Avalanche are bespoke coins and blockchain networks, called subnets. Developers can use the platform to create NFTs, DeFi protocols, and games, among many other things. AVAX payments are required for creating custom tokens on the X chain, launching smart contracts on the C chain, and building subnets. Subnets, in particular, are subscription-based, with AVAX payments made on a recurrent basis. What are the advantages of Avalanche? 
applications that are secure, powerful, and dependable, as well as public and private blockchains that can be customized. The ability to generate assets on current ecosystems, as well as the ability to create a new network with specific validator settings. Apps need to be fast and scalable. With around 4,500 transactions per second, there is a high trading volume. Proof-of-stake consensus rather than proof-of-work consensus. Consensus protocol with sub-samples. Validators are a group of people in the network who have a big say in whether or not transactions are genuine. Without putting decentralization at risk, throughput is high and efficient. Next, let's look at the disadvantages. If validators cannot agree on the status, transactions may be delayed. When it comes to contradictory transactions, there is no guarantee of liveness. With all that being said, should you buy Avalanche? Blockchain technology has the potential to transform the world and its different businesses, including the internet. There is a fantastic opportunity to invest in a range of companies at an early stage with the potential to become the world's next Apple, Microsoft, or Google. Even though there are several new ideas, only a few have the tokenomics to make it happen. Avalanche, AVAX, is one of them, and it has a lot of potentials to become a wonderful, long-term investment and a terrific store of value. Avalanche is a platform of platforms made up of thousands of subnets that work together to establish a heterogeneous, interoperable network of several blockchains. These employ the groundbreaking Avalanche Consensus Protocols, which provide a safe, globally distributed, interoperable, and trustless architecture with unparalleled decentralization while also meeting severe regulatory requirements. Avalanche is an excellent payment platform that supports a wide range of assets and exceeds Visa level throughput thanks to its unique consensus engine. Furthermore, AVAX has a constant capped supply, creating scarcity, and hence will not suffer from consistent dilution through inflation, as other platforms do. AVAX is used to pay transaction fees across all PeeChain blockchains, as well as fees for the production and minting of assets, the development of blockchains, and the establishment of subnets, all of which are burned, reducing the overall supply. Staking provides reasonable yields ranging from 9.69% to 11.54%, which is especially attractive when the price of AVAX is expected to climb over time owing to limited supply. In addition, staking can be accomplished in one of two ways, as a validator or as a delegator. Staking also encourages the locking of huge amounts of tokens for specific periods, lowering circulating supply and ensuring that, when combined with growing demand, the price will likely rise dramatically over time. And that sums up today's video. If you want more videos like this, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to be notified of every upload.